Hello YouTubers, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. Traditionally, when we have our WordPress website, we always using MySQL or MariaDB for backend. I do have quite a few videos about it, but for those low-end VPS, which is less than one gig RAM, that may be an issue when you trying to install MySQL on it, also get your WordPress website to running well. So that's why there's a new project coming from WordPress officially support SQLite, so which can dramatically lower down your resource usage for your hosting environment. In 2022, there's a blog post about it, but actually, about 14 years ago, this already have an open source project, PDO for WordPress, developed by Justin Addy. Unfortunately, the plugin has been closed on May 28, 2018. That was updated 14 years ago. Later on in 2013, there's a little bit more development on this PDO for WordPress project. Until 2022, officially WordPress starting to support SQLite. And now 2023, they have a new plugin to integrate with SQLite database. And there's a GitHub repository for that. That's the whole background. Uh, we don't have to go too deep on how you can install SQLite and how you can get it integrated with your WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to do that, which you can use this SQLite WordPress Docker to get your WordPress website up and running in less than five minutes. So that's the whole purpose for this video. So now let's jump in. You can easily find this project from GitHub, Docker, SQLite, WordPress. The author is so Terry. It's still developing, so two weeks, three weeks ago, there's a new update. Basically, this whole Docker is based on the official WordPress image. And the whole Docker, you can find it also from the Docker website. SQLite dash WordPress. It has a quick start to show you how to run it. Uh, we're going to follow that to go through each steps. I had a little bit of changes on the code. If you want to follow the my step, you can find it from my blog post from this video description. Now let's start from the Docker Playground environment. You can easily start your testing the Docker command, Docker image from this labs.playwithdocker.com website. I always try to run the Docker from here first to see how it runs. Get the account and start, create a new instance. I should be able to run it for free in four hours. You can create a multiple instance if you want. Once you know the command, you need to put it in, just paste, and then let it run. So this is the command. I modified a little bit based on my testing. The nice thing for this website is you don't have to install or prerequisite for your Docker. So everything is ready. As long as you have Docker run command, you can throw it in. Or you also can use a Docker Compose to run your Docker as well. So basically, the Docker is up and running. You can check it's running on port 8080. You can modify that through the command. I put it in. If you're wondering how much memory CPU is using, it's almost 
nothing. It only uses a 51 megabyte memory. CPU is just 0.01%. Since it's running on port 8080, let's open port 8080 here. Now you get this one minute installation widget to set up your WordPress. So traditionally, you should be able to connect into your MySQL, MariaDB, but uh, for this test environment, put some basic information in, then you can start to install WordPress. Right away, you should be able to get this success for your WordPress installation. You get the admin and the password. You can start to log in. Now you got into the back end of your website. So you can see how it looks like. It's super fast since it doesn't consume any resources in back end. Even you are just running one gig RAM memory and the resource consumption is almost nothing to let. So it works. Now we're going to deploy it into your, our own VPS to see how it looks like. We're going to use uh, Google Cloud Platform's free VPS for this testing. To make it simple, I'm going to use a free tier Google Platform VM, which has only one gig RAM, one virtual CPU as a demo for this lab. Since all steps are same for my doc related videos, I'm gonna just show your screen and make it running two times faster to save the video's length. So you can look at the other doc related videos to get those steps. I will play some background music. In that way, you won't feel bored when you are watching. Also, you can skip right into the next section. So now we got our VPS ready. We installed the Docker. We also installed Docker Compose. We added the one gig swap partition for our memory usage in case there's not enough memory. Then we have one gig from our hard drive to use it as our memory as well. So those things has been done and you can find those steps from my blog post. Now, next step is going to launch the WordPress Docker, which is using SQLite as our backend database. 
you can use docker run command but this time we're gonna use that docker compose to do that so we're gonna create a new file called docker compose the yml file and then we're gonna we're gonna put the list contents in so which is the same as the docker run command to do get the docker image then map to the 8080 port then wordpress folder is on var www slash html folder save it then just run docker compose up it's gonna be very fast the whole process only take uh, probably less than one minute so you can see it's running right now now we can start to test it uh, we know the public IP what we're gonna do is gonna try to access it on port 8080 right away we got the least famous installation wizard window so we can do same thing we get the uh, username password copy and put the email address in then install WordPress it's still super fast as you can see from here just log in admin simple easy and only take you probably two minutes two three minutes you can get the WordPress site up and running um, but you can see it's running on HTTP port. If you want to do HTTPS, you can use a uh, Nginx proxy manager to do that, reverse proxy. You also can use your own domain to do that. So in the next section, I'm gonna quickly show you that as well. Our last step is to configure domain our own domain for this new website and also enable SSL HTTPS for this website as well so based on the domain you are using you need to create an A record uh, I'm using Cloudflare to manage all my DNS record so I just uh, put the A record using the blog and put the IP address this IP is our nginx proxy ip so you need to put since we are going to using nginx as a reverse proxy to connect into our website here so we're going to put the nginx proxy here then we add records after that you will need to create your nginx proxy host here so this is the domain you're going to use for your website and you're gonna put the HTTP plus the public IP here eventually you can put the port 8080 since we're using port 8080 so that's how you are gonna configure your proxy host of course you need a SSL certificate you will get it from here once you create in your new proxy host you can apply a new one temporary or to new every three months so once all those steps done you can access your website using your domain so here is the how it looks like um, just using your domain to access it you can add a new theme for it so I add this pet care theme activate it and you should be able to see it's still super super fast as a small website for personal blog it's perfect solution since we can use those free VPS with just one gig RAM and you can run it without any problems so that's all for this video if you like this video give me a thumb up if you can subscribe it that would be great support to me thank you for watching see you in my next episode Thank you.